this is the legislator who's on the spot. Malindi MP Aisha Jumwa and her bodyguard Geoffrey Tieno will spend their Mashuja holiday in custody after the court remanded them for three days. Jumwa and Tieno were to answer to murder charges today but did not as they had not undergone a mental assessment test. The duo will be remanded at the Mombasa Port Police Station and will undergo the psychiatric tests at the Coast General Hospital. Jumwa and her aide are accused of murder and assault charges over last year's shooting in Gandawad that left one person dead and several others injured. The incident occurred on October 29, 2019, during chaos that rocked Gandawad. Police said at the time that violence broke out when the MP stormed a political meeting, leading to the fatal shooting of 48-year-old Ngumbao Jola. Judge Njoki Mwangi directed the MP and her aide to be remanded before being presented for mental assessment at the Coast General Hospital on Wednesday. On matters concerning bond, Judge Mwangi said the bond issued at the lower court was an anticipatory bond and therefore not applicable in the current case. Mombasa assistant DPP Alois Kemo had earlier prayed to the judge not to grant Jumwa and her aide bond since they had ignored the summons. Kemo said Jumwa and her co suspect had been issued as a summons to present themselves for mental assessment, but they failed to do so. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions last week okayed a murder charge against Jumwa over the killing of Ngumbao Jola. The man was shot in the shoulder and killed during the chaos that also saw several people, including police officers, injured. Jumwa had stormed a meeting organized by Ruben Katana, an ODM candidate in the by-election. Ngumbao Jola, who died upon arrival at the Malindi Coast General Hospital, was Katana's uncle. The Gandawad seat fell vacant after the nullification of the election of Abdul Omar, an independent candidate who was also supported by Jumwa. Nimrotabu for Citizen TV.